Like I said, no. Anybody makes it this and this and that. People say there's this type, this, this, and this type, this, this type, this. But like I said, in reality, I'm not saying I know everything, but I'll tell you, Jesus is the only way. I am a believer before anything, and the reason why I say that, because, and I know that God chose me, I did not choose him, because since birth, like I said, I couldn't have been, you know, not living. Since birth, relationship, the devil was all, you know, I was already being attacked. I had a biblical round around my neck, couldn't breathe, you know, eating my own crap. And I was born a prayer life and growing older, I was into the word. People came to our house, you know, read the word, whatever the case may be. God is always there giving me um, um, fresh air, you know, fresh breath in my lungs. You know, I'll, you know, I'll, for it, I'll tell you guys that, you know, hey, just like right there gives me a reason to believe in God. You know, and you're going through personal experiences between close death experiences or depression and going through loneliness or going through this and that. I never really fit in. Never really had much friends like that. I wasn't really popular. Even when I was playing football, wasn't all the most popular one. But everything I have been through in life, you know, ups and downs. I mean, hey, look, my life was not, you know, eat made easy. Life's not made easy. I still had to be peachy about it. But, you know, I always still focus on Jesus through the storms. Yes, I had great times, I had good times, ups, downs. I had times where I didn't understand. I still don't understand. Like we don't do things our own understanding is what I mean. Some things we learn. That's why we some things days you know everybody lacks something. That's why you seek more knowledge and wisdom every single day. It shouldn't have been no argument whatsoever. It's not about oh what well, um this this my channel is not about that. It's a personal relationship. It's a prayer, prayer life. It's something that, you know, there's something you can't really teach. You, I mean, you could tell, you show, show people how to get involved. They can get involved to get them in. But you really, like, you know, you, like, like, I can't basically, you're like, you can't teach people, like, you can't teach people tongues. You you know, but you you could pray for them, you know, pray for them and have the relationship and you know, they you don't know, ask God in the you know in their life and everything else. But it's God is the one that does all that stuff that we can do. You know what I mean? So therefore what I'm saying is I am of God because I know how to love genuinely. Because he gave me that ability. I am of God, so I know that I don't commit to sin. I make mistakes, but like we all learn, you know, we all learn because you know sometimes we do gotta, you know, maybe some because some people don't understand me. Maybe sometimes you gotta, you know, like some people will read you 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 could read the King James version, but some people have trouble. That's so they start out with a version a, a version that's close to. King James, you know, and, you know, read different so they understand. But in fact, the goddess of it is heaven's earth may pass, but his word remains. So instead of fussing each other, beating each other up, bashing each other, this and this and that, you know, trying to do this and that, It's not arguing, you know, we're preaching, so it's like, you know, preaching to the choir, you know, because we're supposed to love the same God. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. If God is for us, who could be against? You know, but like, if you love Jesus, you love Jesus. You know that you love God, you be of love. You know what I'm saying? How can you operate on love if you operate in hate? But you should know God. Uh, love is always. You should know God's love is always the same, and not to do evil for evil. Now, has people learned different stuff? I feel like people learn that's the, other than you know. That's either because they came from the past, the dark past, or they used to be a Christian, but they always want. Test something else out, which and then they put two the two together, which there's only one way to heaven, and that's Jesus. But they trying to be more. Some people will want more, I guess, influence that way they could use it on other people. But I don't know, like, but me, I'm I'm here. My personal experience is a relationship with God, and trusting Him. That he handles the stuff that I can handle. You know, and, and whatever case may be. God is limitless, yes. But I'm not here trying to seek any other doctrine or any other thing outside the Bible. Holy Bible. Holy basic instructions before leaving earth. That's what we're supposed to follow through with. I'm not saying I'm better next and I'm very clearly sure now I confess my sins, ups and downs, and, and even not even share my highlights, but have my highlights. But, you know, whatever case, I've been open. I've said things. Sometimes I didn't blame the devil. Sometimes I did. Because I only do when I know it's not of me, and I know when to blame the devil. I know, when, you know, I know when it was, you know, I took responsibility. I know what I did wrong, and I, and I showed that I... I apologize. I asked for forgiveness and I repented and I haven't done it much again. I don't bother nobody and you can't say I'm gossiping or spreading rumors or lies to get people. Like, because I'm not around to talk to people. Like, who do I gossip with? That's what I'm saying. It takes two to gossip. It takes two to spread rumors to. But if I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I, what church, I, uh, what you got to the churches I told, or not even just more churches, people outside, you know, I'll show you who I'm with. But I will tell you who, you know, I'm not going to say what they did, but I, I mean, I don't really mention any names or I don't even show people around. Unless they want to, or I show people, hey, look, this one, that, I'm not ashamed. Yeah, I love them. I'll show them, hey, with a smile on my face and not really judging not trying to. And no, I'm not wise in my own eyes. Not saying that. Not saying that I'm. And it is, I know it's not. And I'm not, and I'm not saying it's not about me. Because it's not about me. It's about God. And how he loves me. And how he loves you. And we got a little time left to spare. And hey. Never know when, but roads might get ugly. You know, might get bumps on the roads. You might get clopped on the head a few times because of a spiritual warfare battle. You know, you might get whatever, but get used to it. It's going to happen. That's why we put all of our armor God, but you know what I'm but there's going to be dents. There's going to be, it's, it's, it's a, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? But my God and his angels will never fail. They will never fail at all. But as a human, a human we all must stay humble. We all fall short of his glory. We all fall short. But do we leave each other? Are we supposed to leave each other to drown? And every little, everybody that says, oh, you're this and this, 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 this Christian. I never heard of anything anywhere in the Bible 
so many different types of Christians that people label each other. I never heard of gummy bear Christian. I don't see that in the Bible. I don't see, you know, hippish Christians or, you know, did they have guns even? I mean, come on now. That's why I don't really usually rap more often than not. Especially, I mean, I'll make a, you know, saying the music is, not saying the music is whack because I listen to Christian rap. I listen to stuff like that. I'm not ridiculing it. I'm not criticizing it. But what I do know is this. I don't ever, you know, I don't really, you know, see how, you know, being the hip, Published Christian, you know, in the, in the streets that came in, like, you know, it's like, I feel like, I don't know. But if we were intending to be, you know, you know old, old, like, a, but just because I bring out scriptures does not make me religious. Scriptures is what we read on the daily. It's supposed to bring forth the, you know, the, you know, to understand or talk to the truth or to, read and learn more the truth or to help feed each other. But that's not make me religious. It's to help. If you feel convicted some type of way, that's one thing. You know? But God does not contradict himself. But if, he, but if you feel convicted and it's something, that means like a father puts his kid to time out. Or punches or pow pow, you feel like you done something wrong, cause maybe you did. You feel convicted, but you need to face what you did. You reap what you sow. Can't run and can't hide from it. You think you can, but you can't. I'm gonna say I don't hide from it. How can I hide when I'm always here, reading the word? The word's right there, right at my. You know, saying I'm never leaving God's, uh, leaving God's sight, or leaving God's, you know, He's everywhere. Inside and out, He's everywhere. God is always working. God is always working. He's, He's, He's everywhere. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, absolutely. Holy Ghost, uh, you know, listen, everything, you know. Now, you know, it's a spiritual warfare, yes. And but he he protects, he provides, he's everything you need. And then some. That's you know, and that's why he's greater than the heavens and earth and um he you know, he he's he's um, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Died on the cross for our sins and rose on Third day, Jesus came in flesh. You know, and you know, and we we supposed to, you know, we supposed to, you know, help each other out. You know, saying instead of beating each other up. Because it's like having, we're, we're supposed to be family. We're not supposed to be rah, 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 you did this, doing that. We know we all do wrong. And we all make mistakes. But it's like a father, like with his kids. You guys have kids, right? So you should know, especially if you have multiple kids. You feel me? Like... You know, if they were to line up and they fall, have a race. Okay? But you teach them about sportsmanship. You know what I mean? If someone falls, they get, it should help each other out. You know what I'm saying? They should help each other out. You know? It's like, we're going, why race? Why race? We're going to swipe chip people up. 
You're going to the same place. Regardless. Go to dad when you need him. When he calls for supper. When people rush to the table. Why kick someone down and say, oh, I'll get to there. No, I say last one is round egg. You know, the saying how that goes. No, everyone should eat the same. Sit down at the same time. We're all going to meet at his feet. Even if the unbelievers are ready or not, guess what? He warned them. He's coming soon. But he gave them warning. Now, some people will be left behind and some people won't. But you're either a believer or you're not. In John 3, 16, you know, for God so loved the world, he gave him God's son, whoever believes in him shall not perish and have everlasting life. Then it goes to show you whether you're a Christian, Catholic, or whatever, it doesn't matter. You have to be a believer before anything. I want to have the everlasting life. I don't want to perish. You know? And you know, as a believer, we have duties and we have responsibilities. Jesus Christ, you know, he was a carpenter. He helped. He was. He he built. He didn't go in to destroy. He didn't do none of that. He people still these days believe in some type of freaking needles thing that's gonna help. You know, Jesus Christ didn't. Heal with needles, you know. You a a a a girl, remember she ran up to him, just he simply touched his robe, and got healed. He, he didn't need all that. He put his hands over the ear, healed the ear. Use his hands. He done plenty of things. He also, when people were, you know, when Peter had the boat and then fell, he didn't leave them to drown. He picked them up. You know, as he, he when he down across our sins, rose on the third day, he says, you know, they're not talking. He said that. He said, forget the, the Father not know what, um, what they do. Now, come on now. Yeah, I may mess up sometimes. I may have some problems. I may have, you know, this this much. Like everybody else. You know, technically, everybody is has something. Before you put somebody down, make them feel worthless or whatever the case may be, they're not. We all have a purpose. But there's some people will always say, oh, you're this and this and that, but act so much like you are this, this and that, but you really ain't either. You got some ups and downs with you too. Ain't nobody going to be sinless until the time that we get our glorious bodies and everybody's in heaven and everything is all said and done. For the new heavens, new earth and you know, stuff like that. You know, when everything is, that's when we become. Is right now, as of now, there's going to be storms. That's why we focus on Jesus. So I'm not here arguing with you. I'm not here saying I'm better than you. I make mistakes. I don't know it all. That we're not to be wise on eyes. I've done things and I confess my sins to everybody. But for you to tell me I hate you, I can't hate nobody that I don't see. You know what I mean? 